Hi folks, this is another review of the Boardman Team 2016 mountain bike. I did a review uh, a few days ago but really skimmed over this and the comp so I thought I'd do another more in depth review. Start off with the frame. It's a 29er and the angles are 69 degrees on the forks with the seat post being 67 and a half. Now to the brakes. The brakes are SRAM DB5s. Now I've had a lot of trouble with these brakes. The feel of them is really nice, quick, responsive, but they just don't have the power with them. I've got the DB1s on the other boardman and they've got more power in than these. Now the DB1s might be heavier but definitely, definitely got more power in without a doubt. I've done everything to these, I've cleaned them off with spirits and sanded them down, everything. Set, I've, I really have done a lot, put a lot into them but they just don't have the power. Next thing, forks. Recons. I think they weigh about about two kilos, which is quite heavy. And I, I originally had a set of Reavers on my cube full suspension that I had before this. Now these ain't ain't no Reavers, but they do a decent job. If you can see the lock out there, the other one had a bar pop lock lockout but you know it, do, it doesn't take uh, too much trouble just to bend down quickly and hit the button I got them set at PSI do you know I can't remember actually what PSI I've set them at I think it was about 140 but I might be wrong uh, tyres Continental X Kings now they look good and they're good on hard stuff but not so, not so great once you get on a bit of soft stuff but they'll do the trick. They're also not that great on the road. You, you, you back, your back air tyre tends to skid if you it, you brake a bit too hard, you know, above uh, even at a slow speeds to be honest. Next thing, crank. Comet crank which looks fantastic. I mean look at it, it's glowing, you know it looks uh looks spot on but there is a problem with it and that is the three the three rungs because it makes it really hard to get things like bash guard or if you wanted to buy a new say race face ring they don't come in three rings makes it real hard but there again it's a decent a decent crank decent ring so do you need to buy one anyway you know next thing gears 1 by 11 GX you've got the 1150 cassette which is pinned together but is supposed to be exactly the same as like the, the 300 pound uh, XX ones and even even the the they the identical to the XX ones which are like just a group set of loans like 1200 quid or something like that so the, the, all the all the reviews that I've read about it seem to say that it's absolutely fantastic which it is but it can be a little bit noisy. I think that's more down to the front ring though. I think with it being a bit wider, you know, if you've got any grit on your chain, it tends to ear it a bit. But it really is a nice thing to look at and the the gear changes are really rapid. Really rapid. I have XTs on my cube again before and 
I'd, I'd say this is more precise, definitely, and more quicker up and down. Next thing, rotors. Centre lines. No, I like I, li I like the really like the look of them. Again, uh, I had floaters on the other bike, which they say floaters were better, but. I'm not so sure. Surely you'd think one piece would be better than two pieces anyway, but I'll leave that to the experts. And then you got the finishing kit, which it hasn't actually got. I've swapped my seat posts over, and this isn't the original seat, so can't really mention that. Uh, bars and stem, nice and glossy. Same as you get on. Pretty much any other bike though, to be honest. Yeah, hope this helps everybody out. I'll do another one on the comp. Many thanks.